Hey Gemini, welcome to your general love reading for mid-October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Gemini. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but that's okay. You can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. You can check out one of your person signs. You can do anything you want, <laughs> basically. All right, so let's see what is going on with Gemini for the second half of October. All right, and we have family, all right, as the overall energy. Okay, so somebody is really focused on family and possibly ideas um, revolving around family. What does family mean? What is family? You know, anything related to that or could just be really focused on, on family. So this could be you. Could be your person as well. Let's see. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of October. All right, so let's see what we got here. And I will be taking reversals, all right, this time around. Gemini, you have the lovers there, which is right in your element. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got here before we clarify. So for the situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse crossed by the Ten of Wands. Okay, so I feel like there's actually some triggers that are happening here for you concerning um, concerning your self-worth, okay? And again, it could be your person. I'm kind of getting that, that this is you. Um, so I do feel like something is coming to the surface. You're being triggered in some way, possibly even by family, okay, for some of you. But definitely there's some issues that are coming up concerning your self-worth. Possibly you're having a little bit of a hard time... Um, really like demanding, you know, what it is that you, that you deserve or, you know, the way that you act towards somebody else, you know, are you being overly understanding, overly compassionate? I mean, it does sound weird saying that because how can you be overly compassionate and understanding? And what I mean is doing that to an extent where you're not taking your own self into consideration, where, you know, does the other person do the same for you? Okay, that kind of a thing. Where and if not, and you have that as a given, you know why? So I do feel like this is something that is coming up for you. Um, in the recent past, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, so there's definitely a situation here um, with another person where it just wasn't fulfilling. So this is what I mean. Like I feel like maybe there was not, um, you know, somebody was giving more than the other person possibly, but you felt like it's not 100%. It's not It's not filling up my cups. I'm not feeling fulfilled. I do see something very healing coming up or possibly um, just moving in the right direction, coming into some kind of an alignment, all right, coming up in the near future. So that's actually really, really positive. In your energy, we have the lovers. Okay, so that's you, number one. Number two, yes, okay, this is how you feel about another person. There is a connection here where the two of you... Um, do share a lot of the same emotions towards one another. Um, but I feel like, again, this is all about you also being able to stand strong in your own power, being able to find that sense of self-worth, like what is it that I truly, truly deserve and what is it that I truly, truly want in my life and how do I want that to be? I feel like you're kind of, um, the way that this is showing up here, the more that you are discovering your true sense of self-worth, the less effort you are putting into this connection. Because again, all right, because this person has the six of pentacles and then strength in reverse. So I feel like, yeah, this person was not giving as much, was not putting in as much effort as you were. And so now you're kind of, um, taking back that effort because you don't want to be the only one giving because you also deserve to receive. 
All right, so we are gonna clarify these, um, but we do have Leo showing up. We do have Aquarius. Yeah, it could be in Gemini, obviously, but it could be just about any sign that you are dealing with here. Um, Queen of Wands in the potential outcome here. Yeah, so this is all about you having found that sense of self-worth, which is going to actually be a key, a key to this connection, okay? There's something with self-worth that's just, I keep getting that. I keep hearing that. Um, I'm surprised we actually didn't get the self-worth card here um, for the overall energy, but family is somehow tied into this. For some of you, it could even be that the way that you feel about yourself or your sense of self-worth is actually um, because it does stem from our family, right? So there could be something that is happening right now, possibly being triggered, bringing those things up because it actually plays a role in the connection with this person. So let's, let's clarify. Um, I'm seeing a very good outcome here though for you. So let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. All right, we have the Knight of Swords, the Magician, and the Ace of Swords showing up in reverse here. Um, yeah, you know, this is like you were the one, you've been the one who has, okay, roles can be reversed, okay? Um, do keep that in mind because it is a general reading, but I'm seeing this as being you. I feel like you were the one who was always trying to make things happen in this connection. You were the one taking some action, but you weren't really getting results from that action. And the reason why is because, well, it, it takes two. Both people have to give and take in order for this to work. And so you were giving, so possibly you were being um, also more understanding. You were trying to, you know, um, either bring this together or to just resolve anything. I feel like you were the one taking the action here, whereas the other person was probably just kind of taking. And really, you know, that's not fair and it can get very, very exhausting at some point. And I feel like that's the point that you are at right now and feeling like, you know what, I don't deserve this. I'm actually worth a lot more than this. Uh, let's see the lovers for your energy. So I can see why you would not be feeling fulfilled, right? In the past, I feel like that happened. Like you understood, you know what? I'm not, I'm not as happy here as I thought I would be. Um, all right, we have the Eight of Pentacles showing up for you here again and strength. Okay, so similar cards are just popping up here and there. So yeah, this goes back to what I was saying about you being the one putting in, putting in effort. Putting in effort and being very focused on this connection. And I feel like there was a lot of endurance with this. Like you, you endured a lot. And that's why it got to the point with this 10 of wands where you're like, okay, you know, like, I feel like I just need to, you know, offload this, get this off of me. You don't want to have to carry that responsibility of always being the strong one. I had a very similar message come through actually in the um, in a collective reading that I did for the Divine Feminines. So if you guys haven't watched that and this resonates with you, you might want to watch that, that video. Alright, let's see the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. All right, we have the Four of Swords in reverse and we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so you're trying, <laughs> this is more like you're trying not to put in effort. You're trying to kind of pull back. I feel like that's something you're still kind of struggling with. Like you still get the urge, like you want to do something or you want to try for something or, you know, put in some kind of an energy, but then, you know, you're kind of trying to hold yourself back at the same time. So I feel like there's a little bit of fluctuating between um, these two energies of how much should I give, how much should I not give, where should I hold back, um, where is it okay? So it's it's more like you're, you're finding that balance between, okay, how much can I give to this without that compromising my integrity or without that being that I am not um, respecting my own sense of self-worth. So let's see what's going on with, with this person. Let me clarify the Six of Pentacles. All 
right, Six of Swords and the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with a third party situation because um, I do sometimes get that with the with the Six of Pentacles, like somebody giving um, energy to more than one person or one situation. Okay, it doesn't have to be a person. But mostly what I'm getting here is that this is somebody who was being a little bit avoidant when it came to how much they, they would give or, you know, when even if it just comes to resolving arguments, right? This is somebody who has been kind of moving away from that. And I do feel like this person is kind of trying to avoid the situation right now. Um, if you're dealing with somebody, though, who is involved in another commitment, I, I see that that is actually not very stable at the moment. And it is because this person is um, is not really focused. Like, this person is, is kind of scattered. Like, they're not just in one place, right? They're giving their energy to multiple um, places. And even if you're not in contact, well, that's, if they're thinking about you, well, then that that's still giving energy to you rather than being able to just focus their energy on one particular situation. And I feel like this person is just kind of um, moving away from, from the whole situation. I feel like this person is just kind of avoiding at the moment. Let's see strength in reverse. Why is strength in reverse here? All right, the Nine of Cups in reverse showing up again and the Knight of Wands in reverse. What is going on with this person? I feel like this person right at the moment, they're, they're not very stable, okay, first of all. Um, they're not very stable within their own selves. There's something that has happened here. And it, it's almost coming in as this person, like at the moment at least, like not really showing much compassion for you, again, not being very stable. Um, they might be a little bit hot and cold. And it might appear as selfishness. This is why you're being triggered, or this is a part of the reason why you're being triggered. Because you have given a lot to this person. You have put in effort. You have you had um, strength upright, they have it in reverse, you were giving compassion, you were being patient, you know, you were being strong, standing strong by them, having to be strong with whatever it is that was going on, whereas this person appears to be um, in and out, kind of there, but not really, um, and almost like wanting their cake and needing it too kind of a thing. So there's a lesson in it though for them as well. Let's, um, and again, I mean, this is just meant to be for, for a couple of weeks, okay, time-wise. It's not a forever thing. So let's, um, let's see what's coming up. Let's see the start. All right, we have the Knight of Cups. Something's coming back here, all right? Um, I feel like whatever this, because Nine of Cups, all right, that, that's a wish fulfillment, the start, that also talks about wishes, all right? So this Nine of Cups currently is in, is in reverse, and it was in reverse in the past as well, all right? So not being fulfilled, things just not feeling really good, not feeling very lovey um, at the moment. But Coming up though, it feels like something is moving in a new direction when it comes to when it comes to love. All right, somebody opening up a little bit emotionally, um, coming in just as more being more sweet, being more charming, just having more um, more emotional intentions. All right, and this is actually coming in with the I mean with the star. That's that's also divine guidance here. It's purity. So something is coming in. I'm, I'm not really sure if it's the same person though. For some of you, it definitely could be. Um, this person just trying to come back in, trying to make things right. But for some of you, I'm getting that it's going to be somebody, somebody else. 
Let me get one more. Let's let's see what else we get for this. Who is this Knight of Cups? Ooh, okay, we have death. All right, you know what? For some of you, because I'm getting the same message here. For some of you, it is a new person, all right? That's why we have death, because it's a change. It's a change. It's somebody new, something something ending in order for something new to come in, um, which is actually going to be something that is a lot more, a lot more for fulfilling, okay, with the star, as opposed to the Nine of Cups being in reverse twice. All right, with this other person. Um, for others of you, it could it's definitely the same person, okay? So it's really going to depend on your situation. And it doesn't matter whether you know this ahead of time or not because, you know, if it comes in, it comes in, you will, you will see it then. Um, but for those of you where it is the same person, I feel like this person is actually undergoing a transformation, okay? There is something that is that is ending here, which has to do with the past, the past energy. There is an ending. There is a transformation here, and this person is coming in, as I said, with pure intentions. Now, people don't just change overnight, obviously, all right? Um, transformations, they take time, and they take a lot of hard work. So don't expect exactly miracles, but we do have the start. So, yeah, you you will see when it, when it um, happens. Either way, it's something very positive. So let's see the Queen of Wands for the potential outcome here. And we have the Eight of Cups. Let me get one more. The Tower in Reverse. Okay, yeah. I actually feel like throughout this whole thing that is happening for you right now, all right, as I said, I feel like, you know, there's some possible, some possible triggers, all right? Things are going to get easier, all right, with the tower in reverse. There's something here. There's a major shift that is coming, but I feel like that that tower, it's going to happen, like, pretty quickly. It's going to be in the past. It's going to be a thing of the past, especially with the Eight of Cups here. There's some kind of an emotional detachment, and that is because you are actually stepping into this Queen of Wands energy, right? Rather than not feeling so secure within your own self, um, not having demanded what you deserve having tolerated behavior that was not deserving of you okay that is changing big time here all right you're becoming this queen of wands which is also making you very very desirable very very attractive all right and, and it's i'm just getting that you're going to be like this it's like you're going to come off as being passionate um confident within your own self very very secure going after your goals, and you're not attached to anything. This tower is going to be a thing of the past. All right, and I, I am getting like just like an extra message here for some of you to just, you know, really pay attention to your family during this time period, okay? There's something here about, about your family that ties in to this whole situation. For a lot of you, as I said, it's going to be um, focusing on things your early childhood, right, with your family and seeing how that plays out that or how that plays into this situation, that is going to be very healing for you. All right, Gemini, let's see. Final message if this resonated. And please give me a thumbs up if it did. Subscribe if you haven't or leave a comment. All right, and we have the full moon in Leo, and we did have strength showing up twice. We have the queen of wands, so a lot of Leo energy showing up in this reading. Um, don't let pride get in your way. Could resonate for some of you. I mostly feel like it is for your person, that that's part of the lesson that they are learning, all right, that it has to do with pride, not letting pride get in their way when it comes to, when it comes to love, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to how much I give or how much I don't give. All right, Gemini, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.